Any player who's lucky enough to win five games in a row gets a bonus. This is it. It's a brand new car. Yes, it's a brand new Chevy four-door hatchback. The new rear doors make it easy to get into the back seat where you'll find lots of legroom. The Chevette four-door hatchback has the comfort and convenience you want in a small car furnished by Chevy Chevette. Okay, Jack. And so now it's on with our game with our champion, Bobby Lauren. Let me say, too, that like millions of you who watch this program, I, too, am a jogger. And jogging the other day, I kind of twisted my leg. And so if you don't mind, I'm going to do the program sitting down until it gets a little better. And sitting down, I ask you, Johnny Gilbert, if you would introduce the next challenger. Okay, Jack, this gentleman is a special investigator, originally from Aberdeen, South Dakota. Meet Jerry Field. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jack. I thought you were just doing a joke as well. What, uh, what do you investigate? I investigate, uh, Jack, people that use the telephone, but not quite in the right way. <laughs> Scared that. I wish you'd come and investigate my daughter. She's on the phone all the time. <laughs> How exactly what do you mean, people who do it in, a, in the wrong way? We'll say that they take advantage of the system. Uh, Fraud-type cases, uh, using fraudulent credit cards, and also what we call third-party bill calls. I see. Well, let's see uh, how you do investigating the Joker categories. Here they are. Categories in this game are breeds of dogs, followed by nicknames of cities, political movies, northeast, south, and west, and annual events. As usual, the challenger goes first, and Jerry Thiel, that would be you. Good luck. Thank you, Jack. You have a joker, and a joker, and... All right. <laughs> I've heard of fast ways to start a show, but this is ridiculous. That's terrific, Jerry. As you know, all you do is pick one category, answer it correctly, and you become the new champion. Miss it, the game goes on as before. Which category do you want to play? I'll take annual events, uh, Jack. All right. Here is a question worth 500 bucks and the championship. An annual event in many states is celebrated by planting trees. For $500 and the championship, name that special day. I'm sorry, someone in our studio audience called out the answer and several of our people heard it. I will have to destroy that question and give you another one. Same category, annual events, and again, my caution to the audience not to call out the answers. Here we go, annual events. In terms of greeting card sales, this day is second only to Christmas in the number of cards bought. For $500, what is that annual celebration? Mother's Day, Jack. That is not correct. St. Valentine's Day. So, the game goes on as before, and it is your spin, Davi Lauren. Breed the dog, Joker, and annual events. I'll try annual events for 100, please. This major New York City department store holds a yearly Thanksgiving parade. Name the store that sponsors the event. Macy's. Right for $100. Your spin, Joe. Joker. Joker and... I don't believe it. I can't recall the last time that happened. Maybe three, four years ago, that we had an event like that happen where anybody's got three jokers all at one, at at twice in a row. It's incredible. You must be a very lucky man. Pick a category again. <laughs> I'll uh, try annual events again, Jack. Annual events, because you did so well with it last time, eh? I got to get better. I can't get any worse. All right. Here it is. For $500 and the championship. In which month do we celebrate the annual event known as Flag Day? November, Jack. June. But you were close. <laughs> Twice in a row. I don't mean to rub it in. That's very, very bad luck indeed for you. Can okay. Davi, it's your spin. Green dogs, political movies, annual events. Um, I'll try annual events again for 50, please. Every New Year's Day, this historic city is the host of the famous Mummers Parade. Name the eastern city which holds the parade. Um, good grief. Uh, Philadelphia? Beg your pardon? Philadelphia? She said it right. Philadelphia is correct. You go to 150. Well, if you go to 150, you're still good. Joker, Joker! If that had happened again, I wouldn't have believed it. 
<laughs> How do you want to play it? Jack, I'll take northeast, south, and west for $200, please. Which of the following United States cities lies farthest west? Los Angeles, Reno, Spokane, or Salt Lake City? Sorry, I can't even give you a chance to guess. Your time is up. You can pick up $200 if you give me the correct answer. I would say Spokane. You would say wrong because it's Reno. 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 But it is your spin. Okay. Joker, Joker. Reeves of Dawn. Hmm, I'll take breeds of dogs for 200, please. Okay, this breed of dog is named for an area on the Adriatic Sea. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I have to get out of the way here for this with my hobbly leg. Look behind me. This breed of dog is named for an area on the Adriatic Sea. Name it. Dalmatian. That's correct. <laughs> and you go to 350, score zero to 350. Your spin, Jerry. Come on, Jokers. Nickname, Joker, and a triple. <laughs> Gotta get started. Jack, I'll take nicknames of cities for $200, please. Which Nevada city is nicknamed the city without clocks? Las Vegas. Correct. You have $200. Your thing, Bobby. Joker, annual event, and a triple. <laughs> Okay, answer this correctly, because you already have $350, you'd go to $550, and you would win your second game. Added to what you had in the previous game, you'll be winning a grand total of $1,100. Each year, Calaveras County, California, holds an event for certain animals. For a grand total of $1,100, what kind of animals are they? Horses? Nope. You'll pick up $200 if you can give me the correct answer. Could I get you to repeat the question, please, Jack? Each year, Calaveras County, California, holds an event for certain animals. What kind of animals are they? Prairie dog. Nope, they're frogs. 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 Your spin, however, Thank Jerry. You. Still alive. Still alive. Breeds Come of on, dogs. Joker. Not a pair. Ah, uh, breeds of dogs for one hundred dollars, Jack. Okay, look behind me, if you will. This breed of dog was developed in France in the seventeen hundreds. Name it. A beagle. Nope. You'll pick up $100 if you can tell me, Dobby. Um, a sheepdog? No, it's a basset hound. A basset oh. hound. But it is your spin. Okay. <clears throat> what are the movies? Annual events and nicknames. Uh, I'll try annual events for 50 please. Every year, the young men of this Spanish town test their courage by running through the streets in front of a herd of charging bulls. In what town does the running of the bulls take place? Mm. Sorry, $50 for you if you can tell me, Jerry. Madrid. Nope, Pamplona. Pamplona. But it is your spin. Oh. Come on, jokers. Annual event, northeast, southwest, and a pair. Northeast, south, and west, Jack, for $100. Which state lies the farthest north? New York, Michigan, Minnesota, or North Dakota? Minnesota. That's right. You go to three hundred dollars. Your spin, Dobby. Joker, Northeast Southwest annual events. Uh, I'm going to try Northeast Southwest for a hundred, please. Which of the Scandinavian countries extends the farthest northwards? Of which Scandinavian? Oh, of these Scandinavian countries. Oh. Um. Sorry. You can pick up hundred dollars if you tell me. Finland. Nope, Norway. Norway. Score remains 300 to 350. We'll find out who wins this rather unusual game after these words. I lost five pounds in five days. Five pounds that I've wanted to lose for probably 